Hello, I'm Maggie Ball and I'd like to tell you about my newly published book, Bargello Quilts with a Twist, published by Krause Publications um, in the fall of 2008. Uh, this is a new idea. I have designed a Bargello block. It's a 16-piece block that uses the same proportions as traditional quilts with uh, Bargello technique but instead of sewing 8 to 20 strips together as you would in traditional Bargello, you only sew 4 strips at a time to make the 16 piece block. Over here you can see a couple of examples of the blocks and these blocks appear in this quilt. This is the cover quilt on the book and here you can see where the blocks are. This particular quilt has 36 blocks, 18 of them have this orange large square and 18 have the darker batik large square. Apart from that, the other pieces in the block are the same. So as you can see, you can make um, a wonderful pattern. This is called Mayan Mystery, this quilt, and it's um, a uh, trip around the world setting. Uh, you will be amazed at the variety of quilts that you can make from this block, and I will share with you uh, a little about how to make the block. Here's an example of a quilt that has 16 blocks and I'm going to show you briefly how we make the blocks. You construct the quilt from four segments. To make each segment you need to uh, piece full width strips. And so we have set A, set B, set C and set D. In each set you have four strips one of each size. They gradually decrease in size. And you make counter cuts. The A set will be cut the widest, then the B set, the C set, and down to the D set, the narrowest. And then you piece these segments together to create the block. So here's the block, and I can show you where the block is on the quilt. Sixteen blocks, and what's really fun about this is all the different ways that you can arrange these blocks to make many, many different patterns. So it's a very simple idea. In traditional Bargello, you sew twenty, sometimes twenty strips, usually eight to twenty strips, and you have problems keeping all those seam lines parallel. So many quilters don't like to do traditional Bargello quilts for that reason. Using this technique, you're creating a block just sewing four sets of four strips and then cutting segments from those strip sets and piecing the segments together to, to make the block. So when you piece full width strips you can get enough blocks um, to make one of these quilts. The A set you have to cut a little wider and so to make 16 blocks you need to cut two sets of the A strips and just one set each of the others and then you can make 16 blocks create many different patterns. Here's an example that only uses 12 blocks. I've made a table runner. You can see the blocks more clearly here because there's sashing in between and you can design your sashing so that it uh, brings the blocks out or um, the sashing pattern can be integrated into the quilt so that's a whole other element. This quilt is called Bainbridge Delft. The blocks are set on point and it has 24 blocks in it. As you can see, the on-point arrangement uh, looks very different from the squarely set arrangement. When I teach um, the class on this uh, technique, I have my students start by making 16 blocks. And uh, usually some students manage to make all 16 during the class, but everybody gets at least five or six blocks made and learns the technique. Uh, so once you've got 16 blocks, you can add another 8 and make a quilt this size. This is a good size quilt, about 50 by 50. Um, or if you want to go with the squarely set blocks, you go to 36 blocks and you can add to your 16. Or just make a small quilt with the 16 blocks. A table runner just takes 12 blocks and you can add sashing or arrange them in any pattern you like. I think you'll have fun with this block.